today we will look at uh, depth versus equity these are two very most important uh, routes of raising money for your business so debt is essentially whenever you take money from anyone on a terms that you have to repay it back and interest uh, is generally associated but there are instances where you can even get debt uh, uh, say from your family members and all without an interest as well so but debt Primarily means the money you take and then you have to repay it back. Equity is something for which, like, it's more like an exchange. So you get money and in return you give equity. The underlying principle or the intention behind this is the investors are expecting that you would actually help them create wealth over time, and that's how they are interested to invest in your companies. Now there are advantages and disadvantages for both, and it's uh, there is no clear winner among both. So depending on the amount of fund that you need and other business circumstances, you may actually take only debt or equity or a combination of both, uh, depending on your needs. Now some of the uh, advantages of debt is you just take the money and all the uh, money has to be repaid back. So uh, advantage is you don't lose your ownership. and all the decision making lies with you at the same time uh, you don't create wealth for the them so the money you take you put it into business and then as the business of the company grows into valuation you don't have to share that wealth with the debt guys because there you just have to repay the money along with interest the disadvantage is the access to capital could be limited because generally if you look at an outsider guy Was ready to give you funding. They would actually try to protect their uh, debts. So that would mean that the assets of the company, what is the valuation of various assets, and how do they value the assets? And if if required, even they may ask for your personal guarantees. So your personal assets, or based on your net worth, the uh, individual net worth, you may actually get some amount of debt. But the overall amount could be limited to lower amounts because at a very starting level. Or, or, or at a medium level as well, uh, the amount of assets that the business or the promoters has could be limited. That is one disadvantage. So depending, but again, depending on your funds flow or or the cash requirement, you can take a call. Okay, okay, this much is the only amount that I need, and whether that makes sense or not. The second disadvantage is. Uh, in case if the bad uh, if the debt goes bad then your personal assets could be at stake if if you have given guarantee if you have not given guarantee if the business has been lent only based on the business assets then only business assets are at risk otherwise uh, your personal assets could also be at stake the third disadvantage for the debt could be uh uh the the repayment schedule so when you take a debt you have to keep repaying them at a agreed schedule now if your future funds flow or the cash flow is not very uh, steady kind of thing then it becomes challenging for the business to repay that debt so that brings in additional complexities of additional interest and burden so it is advisable if your funds flow or the future cash flows are expected to be very very like a steady or you are 100% sure ki okay i am going to get this money shortly from this this sources then that could be a very good option now let's look at equity now uh, the advantage of equity is you can actually the biggest advantage is you you get money based on what you project that is the the belief the investor brings and the potential that the business offers So if I have to invest in your business, I would be looking more at okay, okay, what is the potential of this business? What is your execution capabilities, and how big you can make it? So if the company grows, my equity valuation grows, and that's how I make money. There is no periodic interest or any kind of interest associated with it. So if the projections are great and if the business has too much potential, and if I I, I also believe in your execution capability. the amount of funding that you can raise or the investments that you can raise could be substantially higher at least at a startup or a medium size level so that's one of the biggest advantages of equity the second advantage is you you don't have to repay back that money so whatever money you get 
can be put completely to business without worrying you have to repay it back in say next three months or six months. Certainly, creating wealth for them is your uh, is your goal and objective, but that does not put you pressure onto the immediate financial need of the business. There are some disadvantages associated because as you dilute the equity, you also lose ownership over the business. So as your ownership comes down, there would be other people also who could actually question your business decisions, who can question your autonomy or the freedom to operate. And this could actually bring in like it could be good or it could be bad. Most of the time it is assumed to be bad because they generally sit outside your business and then keep suggesting, no, you should not do like this, you should do like this or that. But the fact is uh, that would actually take away a lot of controls from you and you will not be able to run your business the way you actually has envisaged it. So that's one of the biggest disadvantages. Secondly, as uh, if you continue to uh, raise a lot of money on equity, like round on round, round round, then your uh, personal assets or, or, or the control over the company keeps going down. At certain level, the investors uh, starts worrying about the future of the company because if the initial set of promoters uh, holding goes substantially down, it is not a very favorable condition from anybody's perspective because the you as a person could actually lose interest into the business and uh, you actually think of even quitting and that's that's like quitting of the most uh, important key employee and the company could actually go for a completely a complete toss so so a lot of equity a round of funding is not very very advisable so that's why you should always uh, look at both the options and depending on how much money you need and uh, and uh, what is the period for which you need the money and depending on other business circumstances like your future cash flows, your, um, your uh, actually is it, is it a long term investment, short term investment, all those things, you should take a call which one to go for. Most of the time it could be just one, most of the time it could also be uh, a mix of both. So there is nothing called which is right, what is right for me. Right for you is always to do a better and a deep analysis of uh, all the factors and then take a call to which one I should be going for. That's all on uh, debt versus equity. Uh, feel free to drop us an email at support at elagan.com or check out our knowledge base at elagan.com or with KB. And thanks for attending Elagan Whiteboard Friday.